Well, if you've ever had the feeling you're being watched as you drive or walk down the streets of Tampa, it may be because of these guys, wooden characters carved into the trunks of dead trees along the road. Well, today I tracked down the artist behind these frowning figures that seem to make most people smile. The iconic carvings of the South Pacific conjure up ukulele music and fancy cocktails. But the tiki's that look out over the bridges, overpasses, and roadways of Tampa often go unnoticed, except when they're not. Oh, I think it's just fabulous. Better than graffiti on buildings, so. <laughs> yes. I'm an artist, and I make stuff out of palm trees. Jeff Schwinnard, a former repo man, started carving tiki figures just six years ago as a hobby until he lost his day job. And I was like all depressed about it. I didn't know what to do. And uh, I kind of looked around my house, and there was like 30 tiki's around my house. And I was like, screw it, I'm in the tiki business. Schwinnard has sold pieces to the Tahitian Inn on Dale Mabry and to collectors around the country. This one's going to a customer of mine out in Salem, Oregon. But the dozen or so carvings in dead palm trees around Tampa are a gift, though the city of Tampa has mixed feelings about a guy with a chainsaw redecorating the right of way. Sometimes it's better to ask for uh, forgiveness than permission. Schwinnard's style stays true to the ancient art form that depicts spirits and gods of South Pacific Islanders, and it's become much more than a fad to him. Tiki's kind of something different to everybody, and it's kind of become my life, so people like them. People, they make people happy, they make people smile, and, and I like that. Well, the official word from the city of Tampa on Jeff Schwinnard is basically this. They'd prefer he get permits for this work, but as long as he's carving only dead trees, the city told me today they have little interest in pursuing any action against him. Now, if you'd like to find out where some of these locations are where you can see Jeff's work, go to my Facebook page, Brendan McLaughlin at ABC Action News, and like the page while you're there.